Hi, YouTubers. It is I, the Hellgear, and I want to take this time to talk with all of you. So here's the thing. In some of my videos recently, I talked about how I've had a life-changing event, but I never really said what that life-changing event is. So I'm going to talk about that in this little update video. Simply put, I started a new job. I started on April 8th of this, or not April 8th, August 8th. Jesus, how did I get April and August mixed up? You can tell I'm tired, you know? And it's different from what I used to do, but as you could obviously tell by the erratics of uploads, it has affected my upload schedule. So I've been trying to make my way around it, normalizing it for you, the viewers, who, again, I'm here to entertain. So before I go any further, I would like to say to all of the new subscribers, welcome. I hope you stick around for a while because I plan to entertain for a while. That being said, let's get back to the sign of the times. When I would upload before having this new job, my upload schedule would be like so. I would get up and about 10 o'clock, 10.30, I would start recording. Do my records and when I'm done with my records for the videos that I do for all of you to entertain all of you, I finish recording, I look them over, and then I upload. And the average upload time for those videos was between an hour and a half to two and a half hours. Yeah. And I like to try to get things done by four o'clock. No, no later than five. You know, if I don't have anything like in the process of uploading and it's five o'clock I'm not putting up anything that day you know three o'clock is like pushing it <laughs> now if I'm uploading at three and then going into the five o'clock hour fine but with this new job I haven't been able to do that and I've been trying to work an upload schedule around it because adaptability is one of those signs of the time. You have to adapt. Otherwise, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah. So, things have been a bit erratic. Now, this next part is about uploading times for YouTube content creators current upcoming whatever and this will make a lot more sense if you live on the East Coast whether you upload YouTube or art to some places like DeviantArt or whatever they have a or bleh, I'm tired they have a specific time frame in which you do these uploads. YouTube is no different. What YouTube has are two particular time frames. They have the peak time frame and they have the prime time frame. Now to those of you who are wondering, and I'm going to talk about this right now, the peak hours that Many of you, my subscribers, my wonderful subscribers, again, thank you for tuning into my videos. Whether it's for me or your other favorite YouTube content creators out there, there's a peak time of day to post your content for your viewing pleasure. And that peak time is from 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This is the peak time where everybody is what everybody is either watching or getting on because again this is the time frame where everyone in the east 
is either hitting lunch, watching on their lunch break, coming home for the day from a rough day. They want to watch YouTube because not everybody watches TV. You know, many YouTubers like to upload on their on their ship, how they run their ship and upload during these peak hours. Now, around 4.45 to, well, not four, not two, but into the five o'clock hour, many YouTubers take this as a breather. They'll, they'll set themselves up, have their videos rendering if they haven't for the next day, get something to eat because many of them have Twitch. And after that, they will begin doing Twitch streaming in the evening, which goes into the next part of the times where YouTubers and YouTube viewers like to watch. And this is the prime time. The prime time is from 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This is the time where many of your favorites like to do YouTube to work by twitching. Or they'll do a live stream at these times of the day for whatever content that they have, whether it's Twitch or whatever. They stream during these times. In some cases, Twitch shows last until 10 o'clock, and in some, they start earlier than 7. Every now and again, someone may start at 6 30, and the rare Twitch stream begins at 6 p.m. Eastern. Usually they like to start at 7. 6.30 earliest. The rarity is 6. Now, when I upload, I like to upload, normally at the old job, I would like to get an upload up between 2 to 3.30 Eastern time, you know, and come four o'clock, if I'm still recording something and not have anything uploaded, odds are it's not going to upload for the day. And I don't really like to do too many late uploads, mainly because I still have to, <clears throat> I still have to be up and then I have to post the announcement for the day. And that's a taxing experience because when I'm done uploading for the day, I like to use what you see here. I call it the Hellavision banner. And I like to post this on the Bulletin Board Facebook page. There's a link to it on the on the channel page. You know, it'll link you to this page and it shows my Hellavision uploads. And you'll see this today on Hellavision. And it's what was uploaded for the day. Now, to this new job. The new job has a very interesting schedule. Now, mind you, I live in the West. I don't live on the, in the East like many of your YouTube hopefuls. So when I get up, I'm getting up, doing my thing, getting ready for the day. And when I have the time, I like to post a video. And then it's out the door for the job. And when I get home, it's anywhere between the time frame of 8.30 to 9.30 Eastern Time, which is the end of prime time. So all of you in the East who most of my YouTube audience lives doesn't really get to see my uploads for the day which means you'll probably see them the following day to counteract this when I get the chance I like to upload before I go off to my job and this is how I've been trying to normalize things so here's what I've been doing I can't promise I'll do this all the time but I will but I will try I will give it more than the old college try. I will give it my, my effort to do this. What I like to do is, while I'm doing my morning routine, post a video. 
And this is why we say turn on the mobile notes. So around 10 to 10.30 Eastern, check your mobile notes. I should have one video up at that time. It's not an always thing, but check around that time. And as you can tell, 10 a.m., 10.30 is before peak hours. So, it's something to look forward to as you go through the peak time frame. Now, when I get home, rest up and get behind the camera, I'm essentially running the end of the prime time. Now, luckily for me, and this is a good thing about that early time, YouTube uploads don't really happen that much that early. So, uploads have been anywhere from 15 minutes to a half hour, which is fortunate for me. Weekends are still on their same schedule. Weekends are business as usual. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I get home, if I have something that I've already recorded and looked over before going to bed, I come home, I'll post it. And that'll be up for prime time viewing. So, check around that 9 o'clock hour. That 9 o'clock, 9.15, anywhere between 8.45 to 9.15. If I don't get you that early before peak hours upload, I may have something else. If I upload two videos a day, that might be how it is. It's one that's just before peak and one hopefully during prime time. Now, if you live in the West like I do or the mountains, that shouldn't be too big of a deal because that's prime time for you guys. You know, if you live in the center or the East, you know, that's going to be coming up near your bedtime. And to all those who watch my videos as you mail out for the night, thank you. Because that's usually the main premise on how I get to things. I try to get this as, okay, watch my videos as you mail out for the day. So that's essentially the time schedule for uploads. And I know this is something that's new. Usually I just post between peak hours and boom. But that's what I've been trying to do to normalize being around my new job. And now that I've taken so much time to talk about that, I want to talk about some of the content that's been on the channel. One of the most recent playlists, Gradius Rebirth, finished its playthrough. You know, it finished its playthrough, there's still some other stuff that I have to finish up. And on that note, there are certain things that after doing an audit of what is being watched and what isn't, I made a few uh, choice things. So first and foremost, let's talk about Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. After the second boss, I essentially asked if you guys want to see more. No one said anything, not too many views are going, so essentially that's like a no-go. So, Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is essentially off the docket. Remember that one time where I showed all the various icons on the Hellavision banner of all the stuff that I do for the channel? Yeah, taking that off the docket. Same goes for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a tough blow for me because Mario Kart is what brought me to the dance. My very first YouTube video was me doing time trials on Mario Kart 64's Rainbow Road, and my very first playlist was Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. So, that's a tough hit for me, especially since Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was the main game I played on Sundays for what I call the Sunday Drive. And I'll get into the weekly schedule thing in a bit. Next up, South Park the Fractured Behold. Uh, here's the thing. I play that game 
game on the PS4. Mainly my brother's PS4. This I was playing on Major Blood 12's PS4. He had some weird error in his P4 and ended up axing it. So right now, he doesn't have his P4. This is a tight spot because, as you guys are probably screaming at me on this one, and believe me, I'm screaming at myself over this ish, the Bring the Crunch DLC is already out, and many people are not only playing it, some people have even finished it. And being unable to play it is driving me up the damn wall. Originally, I wanted to get Fractured Butthole for the Switch, but they didn't, you know, South Park Studios was funny. They said, okay, we're going to push it back, okay, we're going to push it back, okay, we're not putting it on the Switch, and then later they confirmed to put it on the Switch with all the DLC content. This presses me in a tight spot, and it leaves me with a couple of options. You know, playing on the PlayStation 4 was Plan B. Okay, plan A was to get it on the Switch, and plan A is essentially this. I buy Fracture Butthole on the Switch, and then buy the DLC stuff all over again, play the game all over again, and then pick up at Bring the Crunch, and I really don't want to do that. The other choice is simply acquire a PlayStation 4, get the save file and then resume play and I might be doing that I don't know I'm still up in the air on it so once the PlayStation 4 situation is sorted out South Park the Fractured Butthole will be back in business next up Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus if you guys haven't been paying attention to Twitter the creator, Edmund McMillan, has released the card game of Binding of Isaac. And during this, I actually asked him when he was going to drop the forgotten booster pack for the Switch. And he doesn't do ports. So I asked the guy who does do the ports. And they're like, well, no idea. So that's on hold, essentially. That being said, it's time to get into what's going to happen as far as the schedule. And luckily for me, I got it written down. So, for the time being, I already gave you the times on the attempts to upload videos for Channel Hell Gear. So I might as well tell you about the days on what is going on. So here we go. If you're a seasoned sub, then this shouldn't be too new to you. But to all those who are new, this is what it is. I have days of the week where I like to post up particular content. First and foremost is Multi-Merge Mondays. This is the day of the week where I like to upload Merge Dragons content. Usually I would have some multi-game stuff as well, like Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, but that's off the docket. Any other multi-game themed stuff, I will probably post on Monday. But more times than not, it'll be Merge Dragons on Monday. Next up is Town Tale Tuesday. Thank you guys for such love on Snoopy's Town Tale. You guys love Snoopy's Town Tale. And, this is, and Tuesday is the day of the week I like to put up an episode or some content revolving around Snoopy's Town Tale. And when things get sorted out, this is one of the two days of the week where I like to post an episode of South Park the Fractured But Whole. Next up is What's Up Wednesday. This is essentially a wild card day where I might play essentially anything. Now, recently I've been posting up episodes of Kirby Star Allies on Wednesdays. However, Kirby Star Allies is coming to a close. Um, there's like after story stuff, and I think I have one more episode on the docket for that. But, we'll see. 
Usually I throw anything. I have a lot of stuff on the docket there. Next up is Throwback Thursday, named by everybody. This is the day of the week where I'll throw out a retro game or a throwback game. And depending on whether I'm burned out from the day, from the week, I may take this day off. So you'll either get old school gaming, retro gaming, throwback gaming, or I just take the day off. If I take the day off, don't sweat it, no big deal. Gradius Rebirth was one of those games that I played on Throwback Thursday. And to everybody who's currently viewing, I'm going through the core series of Mega Man. And the original Mega Man games are, well, all the Mega Man games except for 9 and 10 are throwbacks. Well, are rusty retros, then the others are throwbacks. But I also have some other games. Next up on the list is Feel Good Friday. This is another game, another day. This is another day like What's Up Wednesday where it might just be any old thing that goes up on the channel or I take it off. Again, once the P4 situation gets settled out. This is the second day of the week. I like to upload an episode of South Park the Fractured But Whole. As I said during that playlist, South Park the Fractured But Whole, I like to upload episodes on Tuesday and Friday. So once P4 issues get, get situated, South Park issues I should say, get situated, things will resume for those days. Next up, is Smurfy Saturday. Thank you to the Smurfs communities for enjoying Smurfy Saturdays. Now I play three different games currently on this channel that revolve around Smurfs. Smurfs Village, which is mainly the stuff that I like to play on Smurfy Saturday, but I also play Smurfs Bubble Story and the recently removed from all app stores Smurfs Epic Run. On the note of Smurfs Epic Run, I was supposed to start the next season of that. However, some things have come up, like this life-changing event. So I've delayed the beginning of the third season. And since the game is no longer available on mobile stores, like I said, I'm going to be playing that as long as my tablet holds out. But I do have some Smurfs Epic Run goodness continually ready to go. So bear with me. If I'm not playing any of these Smurfy games, I'll have some other kind of Smurf content. Which is why I call it Smurfy Saturdays. There may be some other Smurf issues or things that I may come across that I'll show off on that Saturday. Sunday is the issue that I have right now because, again, this is what I would normally call the Sunday Drive. Where I would play racing games, mainly Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and then running games, which again, Smurfs Epic Run ended its season, and I'm done playing Strawberry Shortcake Berry Rush, which was a running game. So I gotta figure out what to play on Sunday, and I will figure something out about that. But for now, I guess I'm just gonna wing it. Now I do have some on content basis but I just want to say one thing as you kids have clearly seen the summer has come to an end which means seasons are changing and I want to enjoy this last bit of the remaining things of summer so many of you are going to be starting school soon if you haven't already so I'm going to resume some more new videos for the school season. You know, stuff that you guys can watch while you uh, chill out for home after homework and whatnot. Right now, I just have some backlogs of stuff that, you know, I have for you to enjoy. Now, as far as content that comes on an as-is basis, it could be many things. Movie reviews, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh card stuff, open bursts, action, these sorts of things. They come as is. Now my regular basis stuff right now is the Mega Man game and I plan on a couple of things. 
One, I'm going through the course series right now. And I would like to get through with the core series before October 2nd when Mega Man 11 kicks in. That is going to be played on the channel. That's why I'm going through all of the Mega Man games 1 to 10. And in the core series, I'm currently in the middle of Mega Man 5. So you'll be seeing some Mega Man 5 uploads for now. And then when I come back from the end of summer, I'll post 6 then 7, then 8, then 9, then 10. Because, again, it's about a month away before 11. And I want to get through Mega Man 10 before playing Mega Man 11 for you guys. Well. Any other games that might come up, I'll throw out there and play for you guys. Some you might like, others you may not. That all depends on you guys. But that is essentially how things are going to roll here on Channel Hellgear. Thank you for hearing me out. I know this is a lot longer than it should be. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. You know I listen to you guys. You know I read your comments. I'll get you back. But for now, it's time for me to get up out of here. So let me take my goose from the oven, because I'm done. I'll see you guys come school time in September. Thank you for listening and watching, and I'll see you soon.